Okay. So first off, let's go ahead and make sure that this weapon is unloaded so nobody freaks out on the internet about it. All right, so cool. The weapon's good. This is the holster we're talking about today. We're talking about this Bravo concealment holster, right? All right, so what this holster is, it is a continued evolution, a continued development on this. This is an older style holster that I got. Uh, one of my colleagues made it for me when I was doing low profile work in Afghanistan back in 2012. Um, this became the gold standard. This style pretty much became the gold standard for low profile and low visibility work over the years in that realm of contracting. Uh, what Bravo Concealment has done is they have taken that design and they've improved it. They've made it better than what it was. And how they've done it is in a few key ways. Um, this mold is much, much better than the older style of mold, if you can see the, the level of detail there. And what that allows for is a more positive seating of the weapon. Whenever I put it in, it clicks into place and it holds in place. On this one, this older style one, it slides in there but it just kind of slides and sits. I can tell that it's being retained here, being squeezed inside the trigger guard, but it just kind of slides and sits. It doesn't have that positive click to let you know there's a nice hard shelf over the trigger holding that, or over the trigger guard holding that weapon in. Another thing they've done is they've improved the retention. This device right here, and you can even see on the back, I don't know if you can get in there and see it, there's a little plus and a minus. Um, next to the retention. So by raising the screw up, you're gonna increase the retention and by lowering the screw, you're gonna lower the retention. Um, what they, the, the reason they did that is because while these holsters were great and like I said, became the gold standard, um, they weren't the best at retention. And at the time on my contract, our only other option was a Serpa holster, which we all know is a dangerous holster to use and just a crappy holster all around. So we kept going with these. Um, you just had to be very cognizant getting out of the vehicles that you didn't catch the the grip of your weapon on the seat or something while you were sliding out that would that would accidentally prematurely start to pull your pistol out or pull it out all the way. Here, I was practicing in my apartment the other day with the retention all the way up. I mean, I was literally pulling my pants up as high as they would go to pull this thing out. The retention on this is phenomenal. Not nearly as good as an active retention device like a Safari Land SLS or ALS, but very good, especially if all you're needing is some friction fit. Um, so beyond the retention, the, uh, the other main things to talk about with this holster is where its place in the world is, because it's not the best concealment holster out there. Uh, inside the waistband holsters are much better for concealment than outside the waistband holsters in general. However, if you're wearing a dress shirt, if you're wearing with it, with it untucked, if you're wearing a hoodie um, or something like this, a jacket over the top of it, this will disappear behind that easily. And it will be easier to get to in that situation than it inside the waistband holster. Inside the waistband holsters really shine under t-shirts and light garments and things like that where you just have to get one garment out of the way. With a hoodie, we're talking about Maybe my t-shirt's tucked behind this thing. Maybe it's in front of this thing. And I just want to have something not up against my skin um, whenever I start pulling things away. I want to be able to have some, some, create some distance between that weapon and my skin. Inside the waistband, it's just going to stick with me. With this guy, when I lean a little bit, that, that uh, grip is going to come out and it's going to make for a quicker access and a quicker draw. Um, so this thing really shines in fall and winter carry, uh, not so much in summer carry. Um, now, about, now uh, a caveat about speed. Um, yes, this holster does ride higher on your body, but as you can see in the, the footage that I put in here at the beginning of the review, uh, it doesn't ride high enough that it's going to actually affect your speed. And uh, Pat McNamara, who is you know a proven killer of man in Delta Force, is just he, he uses these and it doesn't slow him down one bit. So if you need some sort of professional, you know, endorsement from Delta Force, there you go. Pat McNamara uses it. Um, other than that, um, it's just a good jack of all trades holster. It's not going to do the best for concealment. It's not going to do the best for speed, um, but it is going to do both of those things decently well. So if you need one holster that you want to stick with for all your training purposes, this is definitely the way to go. Bravo Concealment Holster. All right.